A short time later, the loved ones of another black man killed during an encounter with DC police held a vigil to remember him and call for justice. Pete Montin was there. I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I'm hurting every day, you know, every day, my only son. Jeff Price Sr. is struggling with six weeks of sadness. May 4th, Jeff Price Jr. was killed here. His illegal dirt bike crashed into a D.C. police car. He was a good guy. He finished school. He wasn't no trouble kid. He wasn't in trouble. You know what I'm saying? He would just enjoy riding his bike. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Having fun, living his life. He was only 22. This can happen to anybody. Friday night, friends and family gathered at the crash site. They are demanding police own up. They say police-involved deaths, like this one, happen too often in the district. This is the path that Price took down Division Avenue. Police insist they were not chasing him, but his family is certain that the police are wrong. Attorney David Schertz okay. is representing the family. After the crash, Chief Peter Newsham stressed the department's policy. Officers do not chase illegal dirt bikes. Schertz says the same thing happened to a client nine years ago. Had the police operated according to correct protocols, it never would have happened. We need here demands for accountability and action so another son does not become a statistic. The police shouldn't be doing what they're doing to cause death to, to people, you know. In Northeast, Pete Muntean. You know, it shouldn't lead to, the one, to, one, to no one's death. WUSA 9.